We've got a true life story, how to train as captain shoplifters. Let's get it. Move to the side. Well, we want to show it all. What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, man, this is a true life story, man. I get a lot of emails. We get a lot of emails. Y'all like to hear our true life stories. Hey, man, you know what? Leave the, the store out and leave all the... Shut up. I'm telling them everything. <clears throat> now, back in the day, about, what, five, six years ago? No, seven, eight, nine years ten, ago. About ten years ago. About ten years ago. This has been a minute, man. A minute? But me and my brother... Used to yeah, catch shoplifters for a living. We yeah, worked at You don't have to tell them the fucking store, man. man. Shut up, man. You, you just tell them we caught shoplifters. You gotta tell them the fucking store. Man. This video's gonna be three hours long. You gonna fuck, fuck the damn video up. Long story short, we walk around Ross Dress for Less where we used to catch shoplifters. Okay? We dress as regular people, act like we shopping, and what we're really doing is looking at you, waiting for you to shoplift so, can, so I can slap some handcuffs on you and snap your fucking shit up outside the store, right? <laughs> But it was like, it was a Sunday. It was a weekend, right? And it was like two or three hours before close, man. I didn't feel like catching shit. I was like, man, fuck this job. Motherfuckers ain't paying me enough anyway. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers. And I was just walking around, going, going through the motions. At the time, he was at the store working with me too, right? He was. I don't know where he was, but he, we met up soon thereafter. You'll see in this fucking story. And I'm just walking around going through the motions. They ain't even looking at nobody. I don't want to see nothing happen, man. I'm just want to get out of that, right? I'm looking at the floor walking around, man. You know? And as I walk around looking at the fucking floor, man, you know, I see these ugly, hit the ugliest and skinniest, hairiest, palest, whitest legs I've ever seen in my life, man. That was hairy as fuck. Fuck, man, they had all these white, gray hairs all the I was like... Salt and pepper on that bitch. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> and what made these hairy, nasty, skinny, fucked up legs stick out to me, man? They was sitting in some fucking hot blue pumps, some high heels. I was like, what the fuck, man? You know? So I'm like, do I even want to raise my head up and see what the fuck's standing right in front of me at this point in time? <laughs> I said, fuck it, I got to. I got to see what the fuck's in front of me. So, you know, raise my fucking head up, right? To look at this motherfucker in front of me, man. It was this old white dude. This dude had to be about 65. All this was gone bald. He just had some white shit right here faded in and shit, right? Motherfucker. He had a beard, man. Look like Pee Wee Herman at the age of 85. Take Picture that. He had a nice, he had one of them George Michael beards, he had it all faded down and shit. Oh, clean cut motherfucker, right? Skinny face. And he had these thin ass little, he had practically no lips. Like, I got a lot of lips. He had practically no lips. He had little red lipstick all over them bitches. And when, I, when he looked at me, it was like this. I was like, motherfucker. Right? But I wanted to laugh, but I wanted to laugh. But I said, what is this old ass white dude in here? And he had on this little tight little fucking silvery fucking skirt on, man. And this like little flimsy boss showed off his damn bone ass collarbones all sticking out. He looked like a fucking white Ethiopian had eight in 10 years. And I was like, God damn, man. Does this dude have any common sense? This ain't fucking sexy, man. Even people that's attracted to this shit, this can't be fucking sexy. So I'm like, fuck, man, this is awkward. But he's he's looking at me. We met eyes. You know, now you meet eyes with somebody. It did something for him. It didn't do nothing for me, but it did something for this fuck. So he's walking over to the lingerie section. I get the fuck out of the dogs. I go up in the men's department, and there's Kevin standing over there. I go up to Kevin. Kevin's like, you see that motherfucker that just walked in the store? I was like, yeah, I just ran into him. Some crazy shit, ain't it? <laughs> and then it was funny because when he was walking around, man, the store, man, it looked like he was about to snap his fucking ankles up, man. He had no practice walking in high heels. Think it, the way it looked like it's the first time he ever walked in fucking Yeah, dude was going to snap his fucking ankles up, snap his shit up, man. But we're sitting back smiling, laughing at him because he couldn't walk in the fucking heels, man. You know what I'm saying? 
and everybody in the store was looking at this motherfucker, man. But we fucked up. He saw us looking at him from the men's department. So, dude ain't got no fucking common sense. So, he, the way I took it is, the dude thought we was checking him out. And he kept looking at us. He said, wow, I could tell you he's looking like, are they twins? So, the fucking guy comes over. I said, just look down. Don't even fucking say nothing to him. But he comes over and he says something. But I'm a nice guy, so we got to respond, right, motherfucker? Yeah. And I'm like, man, what the fuck is he going to ask us? Are y'all are y'all twins? Get that fucking question out. hundred times a day when we're together. No, you know what the fuck he asked us? <clears throat> are you guys brothers? I'm like, man, f I was I was finished, man, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we brothers, man. We twin brothers, motherfucker. Why can't you just ask if we twins, man? But I, I didn't ask him like that. I'm polite, you know. Treat everybody like the way I want to be treated. I don't want somebody saying, fuck you in my face when they ask me a question. So I didn't do that. It's fucking not polite. My mama taught me about it, right? And he's talking. And I'm like, man, how the fuck was I going to end this conversation with this dude? He's fucking tossed. Yeah, man, cool, man. That's cool, man. He's, he's telling me how I got pretty eyes and shit. He said, I noticed you over there in Longre, you got some pretty eyes. I said, yeah, man. A lot of chicks tell me that shit. You know what I'm saying? Got me a plenty of puss off that shit. <laughs> but you ain't gonna get none of this, motherfucker. So Kevin walked away, left me there. Just fucking left me. And I'm looking over at this motherfucker across the door like, help me, motherfucker. He's like, then he screams across the door, Keith. Come on, man. Let's go. We got to go, man. Because the dude didn't know we worked there. So I was like, yeah, talk to you later, man. Take it easy. But he kept on fucking talking. I was like, ah, oh, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm walking away. I didn't say that. I just said it. I'm walking away, motherfucker. It's over. This conversation is over. But you know what? I'm proud of myself, man. I didn't disrespect the guy. I was nice. I sat there and actually talked to this old crazy. I think this dude was just going fucking crazy senile. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's a true life story, true life mo mo moment with the fucking Hodge twins. Hope. Man, that was a crazy story. Because security guards, like, they, they have a tough job catching people and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it is early in the morning right now, and I am tired. But, yeah, we've got to keep grinding. So, yeah, help out the channel, please.